Alrighty, out here at the property. Road is making some progress here. I'm gonna walk it first because I want to make sure that the muddy area back here is dry enough. I may have to do a little work with my excavator to uh, track that down a little bit so I can safely get back here with my van, two wheel drive van. Um, I was able to make it back the other day with my enclosed trailer on, but once I started, I could not stop. And then once I got back there, I had to do some more dirt work, put some gravelly sand in the spot and then track it down some more. Um, I actually put some sod down just to give it a firmer base, but it's a natural stone that, a local guy is bringing in for me uh, crushed concrete was a little bit more expensive but I actually like this better I think it's gonna be a better base so he's bringing in uh, about two loads a day 15 tons each load um, still got some widening to do as you can see and then I'll probably bring in some smaller crushed material on top of this so I don't like puncture tires with the sharp rock. And it'll give it a give it more uh, more compacting. But it's looking good. It's like it's a really solid base. I think he brought in two more loads yesterday. So that's good. <clears throat> He brought his dozer out. He must be able to. He must be able to drag the tailgate a little bit, cause I mean he's probably just got to drive forward for it to drop out. Cause I can see. You can see the fresh part up there. But where his uh, dump truck's been driving is pretty well packed down. So as long as my you can see, as long as my tires are on that, it should be pretty solid. I just want to make sure that the muddiness isn't too bad after a small rain we got. I think we got a little rain yesterday. Yeah, see, this looks soft. I don't know if I can... My tires might compact this down, but they might also sink in. I don't know. Could be a problem. It's pretty soft. I did drive through one load of that the other day and it was okay. I just had to, you could feel it when you hit it. It kind of sunk a little, but it kept going. So we'll see. All right. This was the biggest muddy mess ever right in this area. It's pretty dry. Luckily, we haven't been blasted with rain lately. This looks safe. Safe here. It's a little muddy there, but it's compacted down on the edges where my tires will be. Seems fine. This is where my skid steer got stuck before. So I've been filling that in. I wish I had my skid steer working. I could move dirt around a lot better. One time somebody had a phone line going down the middle of the driveway. It's just two pair. <clears throat> talk more about my plans for data in another video. Anybody want? Anybody need a brush hog? I'll sell it to you for a good price. Uh, that's a little sketchy. You see I got work to do up here. But right up here is where the 
where it opens up. This is the area that was really bad the other day. I had to bring in a lot of material. But you know what? It firmed up pretty darn good. Shouldn't be any problem getting back here. You can see it's just like a sponge almost. But as long as I don't stop, I think I'll be okay. So, and then I, I pulled a lot of material from over here. Like I've been widening the driveway and all the sod build up on the sides. So I was pushing that with the excavator the other day, kind of building up the side over here. I'm gonna have a culvert. Uh, probably when, when we get a good rain, the water just comes across the road right here. But I want it to go where I want it, where I want it to go. So you can see there's a drop off here that goes back. So the culvert will probably be right in here. Um, I'm going to get a 15 inch cast concrete one. And then there's another area back here where I need to put one too. I'm not sure where though. That's the big one. That's where it gets the most wet. But there's a stream on this side that when it rains real good, it just backs up and it comes right across the road wherever the path of least resistance is. You can kind of see it back in there. See how muddy it is. But I think that other one is probably wherever a low spot is on the left side. Probably another one up in here somewhere where it was real muddy before. Yeah, so you can see the the water right there. So I think this is where it was. And since this is kind of a higher spot or will be when the rest of the material comes in, I kind of want it path the least resistance right here just to go under the road so it doesn't wash out. All right, I'll do another video when I drive. All right, taking a drive back with my trailer after that walk through. Uh, everything looks pretty good. The only part I'm concerned about right now is that new soft uh, the two, two loads of soft, but I think that it'll compact down enough when I drive through. Uh, I'm going to do it pretty fast, too, when I get back there. So I drove through a soft load the other day, and it went pretty well, so I don't think it'll be a huge deal. But I'm going to speed up in a second when I get closer to the end here. Just to make sure the trailer doesn't drag me down or something. I can always take my uh, skid steer or my uh, excavator out there and track it down a little bit too. So the other day I had to go flying through this area, but I think I'm okay today. All these whoop de doos are pretty, pretty rough. But this is dried out a little bit more since I was. Ooh, felt a little soft there. That's just the sponginess. So. Area. And now it's just whoop de doos from. It's kind of hard to flatten this out with the excavator. I really need the skid steer to kind of back drag and break this up a little bit. Try to get that in for repairs, but <clears throat> the John Deere dealer is like three to four weeks out. So I'm going to drop it off there tomorrow. And uh, maybe they'll get to it a little sooner. If not, at least I didn't have to lug it all the way out here and then log it all the way back. So. All right, I made it. Uh, last time I was out here with another trailer, I sunk it in the grass right in front of the excavator there. Uh, I'm going to try to unload some of these yard tools. It's got to be dry enough for me to drive on this, but thanks for watching.